Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth, what did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. SSI wasn't working for Holt. You're in deeper shit than you think. Meaning? They're in your heads, Jefferson. Yours and Elizabeth's. This some kind of chuckle-worthy metaphor? Strange dreams, partial recall, jumbled memories. It's not just stress and long hours. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, but I don't think I like where this is heading. Wake up. Your brain's a mess. Messier than the discount section of a beady smut hut. I'm not paying you to make up riddles for me, so get to the point. SSI's on the take of some unknown group that's out to control your lives. Know there's a concealed room in your pad? Out with it. They've got tech in there you wouldn't believe. These people know everything about you and your wife. Watching your every move. <sighs> Somebody's programming you and your wife. Sounds like something out of the movies. Saw your brain scans. They're tweaking your neural connections. This ain't no movie, Jeff. Been at it for a while with you and Liz. Editing your memories, your tastes, your views and beliefs even. How could I not have known about this? Your memories? Can't even trust those anymore. If that's true, I'll never know what's real in my life and what's a lie, fabricated. Wait, the intruder. I have to find him. Trust me, you never will. First I'll find him, then I'll find whoever's behind this. Pull the curtain back on these motherfuckers and show them what's what. 
Worst thing anyone can do to a person is strip them of their sense of self. I'd fight back too. They've made me a winner. <laughs> and they're gonna regret that. For now, I'll let them think they're pulling the strings. Good luck. My god. I have to tell Liz! Your wife knows everything. Liz? How? Figured it out at some point? Elizabeth? No, 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 no. She would have said something. She feared for your life, your daughter's life. Who could blame her? Nah. Well, she's never kept anything from me. And she doesn't scare easily, believe me. Got an anonymous hollow telling her to keep her mouth shut. So she did what the perfect candidate's wife would do. Protected her family. I won't let them get away with this. Is there anything else I can do? You've done enough already, V. All that's left to do is wait. So what now? Still want to be mayor? Well, I'm not about to give up. I didn't run just to... Uh, I'll wait for my window. An opportunity. Then make my move. Isn't that exactly what they want? Well, I'll give them more than they bargained for. And the same with the Aredis. Take care, V. Good luck. And good night. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So, aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who. What matters is that guy decided to take up the gauntlet. My man.
Miss the warmth of the corporate lab? That unique thrill of internal power struggles? What? Got a score to settle is all. Aha! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Rats still in the race. Don't you need to be somewhere else? Your piece need oiling? Guitar need tune-in, maybe? Mm, I get it, fine. I'm gonna go take a piss. Empty. <sighs> Damn. Hello, V. Man, time flies. Inferred death just ain't what it used to be. Key word, inferred. But Abernathy is purging the depth. He purged me. I took my house, accounts, implants. But I'm not done. Gonna prove she was wrong about me. Shove it down her throat. Ah, so you make your move stepping on me. Gonna serve my head up on a silver platter. And you think Abernathy will welcome you back, arms outstretched? That's about the size of it. Now turn. Hands on your head. Hop to it. Remember Joey Levani? Gonk for mergers and acquisitions. Pissed himself the day he was fired. His knees were shaken so much, he couldn't even walk. Guards had to drag him out to the curb. What the fuck are you talking about? Saw him as the most pathetic guy ever at Arasaka. Not so anymore. You just took that title. You really don't care if I end you. You're not going anywhere. Nothing like running into old friends and reminiscing, huh? Ah, the golden olden days. Not in the mood, Johnny. Should be. Look at your luck. I mean, could have wound up all jittery like him. Have a nice night, V. I'll be at home. herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. Stop talking. I was, I was only gone an hour. You, you checked your pulse? V She's gone. How did this happen? I don't know. I told you. Evie was lying in bed like always when I went out and I got back to if I'd just known, I'd have... Don't blame yourself. Won't solve anything. I should have sensed something. That it was off. <laughs> Stop. Couldn't watch her 24-7. She'd made up her mind. Would have found a way. Always. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! 
What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you. If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the... Precinct and trash it into bits. Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. They'll be here soon. <laughs> Tell me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? All things considered, you let them off pretty light. Had it been me, they'd have gotten an earful like nobody's biz. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. I'm a cig. Didn't know you smoked. <sighs> Quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Fine, here. That was her smoke case. She smoked some strange boutique brand. That's Evie. Whenever she pulled on a new face, it was down to the details. A lot of people know the real Evelyn? Who she really was? No. Nobody. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. Stay strong, Judy. Don't let this tear you down. Know what? Let's just not say anything for a minute, okay? Remember Fingers? How he said Evie was with him for four days? Uh-huh. Did say so. She disappeared from clouds a week before you turned up. Tom told me later. Couldn't sleep at night knowing that. Kept thinking, what the hell happened to those other three days? So I did some more digging in her virtues. Found Woodman. He kept her. And had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. Wait, so you found other recordings? Had another look at the corrupted ones. You know, lots of static. Hard to pick up anything, really. At some point, I stumbled on something like an echo of the spat we'd had. Last time we saw each other. But I know she wasn't scrolling. Why was it saved as a virtue? Got no explanation for it. Maybe she recalled it later, relived it almost. Implant could have been on when, you know, as a defense mechanism, escaping into the past so as not to live in the present. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. I really wish I could unsee it. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. Saw him as your 
average Trixie sleazebag. It puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Sue's. Thanks, V. Sorry. But, uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. This is the place. Tick, 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 tick. Nice ride. Brand new? Nope. Not in a chatty mood, I see. Not really. Sorry. So, what happened? Needed someone to talk to. Mm-hmm. First, take a look. Hello, my name is Arif Iqbal, and this is WNS News. Today's More story. dead politicians? A routine roadside Just inspection watch. led the NCPD to the trail of a dangerous abductor and murderer. The incident occurred at the intersection of 7th and 15th Avenue. The following police footage was captured at the scene. 1038, I repeat at 1038. Registration 2AA6244. We're exiting our vehicle now. Copy that. Out of the car! Hands up! Easy, officer. Relax. Shut your mouth! Oh, shit. Uh, we have a 1053 and a 1054. I repeat, a 1053 and a 1054. The boy from the footage is Lavar Martinez, age 17. His parents reported his disappearance over a month ago. Unfortunately, Lavar's life could not be saved. His body could not withstand the severe septic shock he suffered. Autopsy reports revealed the teenager was given dangerously high levels of hormones, anabolic steroids, and stimulants. The possessions and genetic material of seven other missing teens were also found in the car, belonging to one Anthony Harris. Unfortunately, their fates remain unknown. Although the criminal widely known as Peter Pan survived the gunshot, he has this not regained Pan, consciousness, he, making an interrogation case, you were impossible. For him? Never heard Please of him. stay tuned to Didn't WNS News for developments in the story. What's the problem if they caught the guy? My nephew, Randy, disappeared not long past. And what you just saw, 
The kid was wearing Randy's shoes. Oh, Jesus. Randy's disappearance. Know anything else? My sister and I don't get along that well. I don't know much. Just wish I could have been there for her when she needed it most. What, they figured you'd get emotional and kept you off the case? More like a restraining order. Won't let me anywhere near it. Gonagal took the lead on it. Lazy-ass gonk. And so far, he ain't accomplished shit. No way I'd let this lie. I know. And that's why I'm asking for your help. So what do we need to do? Can't interrogate the guy because he's a veg, but... We can view his dreams. Sorry, dreams? You heard me. Come on, I'll explain on the way. It's an experimental procedure, but it's already yielding results. They record dreams that can be played back as BDs. Got access to these dreams? Not yet, but they keep them in the lab we're headed to now. Okay. Got an appointment? Not exactly. We'll go in together, but, uh, not through the main entrance. Oh, we're gonna break the law. We'll find a different way in, and then hustle out quick. Never actually been here, so I'll need your help. Okay, shouldn't be anyone inside. The lab's in the middle of an audit, so make all the noise you want. How are we gonna find this brain dance? Look for a room where they edit the dreams of autistic kids. Oh, and remember, Peter Pan's real name is Anthony Harris. Definitely don't store any BDs in this area. Hmm. Locked. Can't get in.
I think I got it. Found something? Not yet. Anthony Harris. Let's try these drawers. Say, River, why not just have a janitor crack a door for you? Can't risk getting scolded for sniffing around somebody else's River. case. Yoan! What are you doing here? You got kicked off the force. Just suspended, actually. And who might you be? I'm calling the actual police. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here. Hear me out, please. Seriously, River? You weren't in enough trouble already? Harris kidnapped my nephew. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But we store evidence here. And we have strict protocols. Huh, protocols? Talking about his nephew's life here. A child's life. This is an ongoing police investigation. Go, please. Listen, you work with badges, right? You know what they're like. Feed them analysis, they'll shit out failure. This type of thinking is the very reason we live in a lawless city. Lawless? Remember your first med school exam? You know the one. Passed it with flying colors. Gotta remember it. Ladies' room erupted in flame. They evacuated everybody for two hours. I cannot believe you would throw that in my face. I never wish to see you here again. Especially you. This man, he only takes. He never gives anything back. River and I get along, we're friends. Hasn't let me down yet. Huh, I thought us friends too. That why you're refusing to help him out? Harris's dream, Beatty. Where is it? He isn't dreaming. What? Why? A bullet damaged his cerebral cortex. We get only dissonant urges. Pieces. Looks Let's like move. a dead end, River. Let's go. I'm sorry. Audio-visual stimulation. That's what we gotta try. But he isn't on the spectrum. No favorite song or movie. Helps you reach the kids. Might be worth a try. I am aware of the similarity. Hypothalamus stimulation and hormone production. But Harris is not a child. I have never tried the procedure on an adult. Any reason you haven't? Because, unlike River, I went to med school and studied neuroscience. And not by reading about it over someone's shoulder on the metro. Let's try it. We don't even know his preferences. I'll find something. I mean you're willing to try? Just... go. I'll open the front door for you. Let's ride, V. I know exactly where to start. Say, by the way, what do you know about biochips? Arasaka's relic, in particular. Well, it's designed to store a person's neural engram. Uh, sorry. Just imagine copying over a person's memories and personality. Right, I get that. I'm more curious what happens if the stored engram overwrites the engrams of the chip carrier. Overwrites? I... I'm not even sure that's possible. Why do you ask? Nah, never mind. Not a big deal. Thanks.
Okay, let me hear it. Lost your badge. Didn't tell me about it, why? I don't know. Makes you a bit of a lead head, doesn't it? Yeah, that it do. It's just, uh, it's not easy for me to talk about what's biting in my ass. Fair enough. Could tell me where we're headed, though. To Joss's. Randy's mom. She thinks he just ran away from home. For now, keep the kidnapping between us. Tell me about Randy. What kind of kid he is. Petty theft, drugs, running away from home. That kind. Cop uncles really see the best in you. There are people who always find their way into trouble. Randy's one of them. Where's Randy's dad? Been a few years since he got popped. Gang war. Huh. Great role model. Josh was left alone with three. <laughs> but she's as tough as weathered leather. Gonna tell me why we aren't trying to find Harris's apartment? That's a house. I doubt he's keeping his victims in his basement. And besides, we are trying. Wanna see if we can find some connection to Harris at Randy's. Pretty weak lead. Best we can hope for just now. Not worried Yawin's gonna tow the line? Rat you out to her superiors? Used to be friends. Doubt she'd do that. Plus, not that I'd use it, but I do know one skeleton she'd prefer remain tucked in her closet. I think Yawin will actually help us, all things considered. Yeah, these tiffs of ours always end up the same way. I'll tell you about it over a beer sometime. Sign me up. We find Randy, and we find the bottoms of a few bottles. Won't be my pleasure. All right, this is it. It's sure been a while. We used to come over every weekend, a long time ago. And changed it all since? Places like this never change. Lovely neighborhood. Mwah. 